Hello students, today we will discuss about error detection and correction. First, I'll discuss error detection and correction terminologies. First of all, why this error detection and correction? Means no system is error free, right? Whenever we are transmitting something or receiving something, many times some errors may occur. So that's why this error detection and correction is important term in computer networks, right? So before discussing uh, types of error detection and correction, I'll start with very basic terminologies. First of all, types of errors. First is single bit error and burst error. Two types are there. Single bit error means, as the name suggests, single bit error means what one bit of a given data unit is changed, right? Burst error means what two or more bits in a data unit may be changed, right? So two or more uh, bits are changed, then it's a burst error. Only single bit change, then it's a single bit error, right? Now, not necessary. Whenever we are uh, dealing with burst error, it's not necessary that consecutive bits are changed. Many times, let's say I'll take one example. This is sender, sender side. Whatever sender send, this is sender message. This is receiver's message, right? So here, one is changed to zero and as well as here also, one is changed to zero, right? So if I want to calculate a burst error or length of the burst error, then length of the burst error is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Means distance between these two consecutive, not consecutive, but distance between these two bits, whatever is changed, right? Now, next is redundancy. So, in real life, what do you mean by redundancy? You all know, right? So, same concept we are applying over here. Means along with our code word, we are giving some extra bits we can call as redundant bits right so we are adding some bits to our data while transmitting our data from sender to receiver i'll discuss so many types are there single bit uh, uh, two dimensional i'll discuss one by one but first uh, first i want to explain what is redundancy next terminology is detection error detection right so in error detection only to see if any error are there or not that we can call as detection simply i am detecting some that error is there or not right next one is error correction correction means what i'm i'll try to correct the error right so correction is more difficult than detection right obviously in detection simply we are detecting that error is there or not and in correction we are correcting or we are trying to correct our error right now next term i want to discuss is forward error correction forward error correction means what at the receiver side we are trying to assume that that may be sent by the sender means process in which receiver tries to guess the message by using a redundant bit but let's say if i am having too much of burst error in my data then i can't assume right so second terminology is retransmission simply i'll tell a sender that please retransmit my message again right because too many errors are there in my message next is coding uh, redundancy, uh, redundancy achieved through various coding schemes right so there are two types of coding whenever we are dealing with this error correction or detection before this we have to understand this types of coding also first one is block coding second one is convolutional coding convolutional coding is highly tough and complex thing it's no need to understand it or it's not there in your syllabus but block coding Whenever we are using this block coding, first of all, what do you mean by this block coding? Block coding means what? We are simply dividing our data in small, small blocks, right? And then we are transmitting through that blocks only. So code words, data words, this kind of terms comes in a picture. I'll discuss. Don't worry. So basic operations of block coding. So first one is addition. You all know. Simply binary addition we are applying over here. But... I want to discuss this. 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So every time ig ignore carry bits, right? Subtraction, 
same thing 0 minus 1 whenever we are uh, dealing with 0 minus 1 ignore that bow repeat right XOR operation mostly we are dealing with this operation you all know right 0 XOR 0 is 0 1 1 XOR 0 is 1 XOR 1 is 0 then 0 XOR 1 is 1 1 XOR 0 is 1 right now block coding I'll discuss what is block coding in block coding data words comes in a picture so divide data words means what divide a message into blocks and each of k bits let's say i'm assuming this is my message right this is my message i'm dividing my data in small small k bit blocks so we can call as a data words so two rest to k data words are possible each of k bits right here k bit one data block k bit k bit k bit likewise so many two rest to n or 2 rest to k data words I can generate, right? Next one is code word. Like data word, code word is also there. In my, uh, what is code word? First of all, add r redundant bits to each block to make the length n is equal to k plus r. Means what? Here, my data size is k bits, right? In that k bits, I am using I am adding some R bits. R means R bits means what? Redundant bits. I already discussed redundancy in redundancy, right? Redundancy means what? I am adding some extra bit parity bits to my data, and then I am sending. Why I am adding this extra bit to check that uh, whatever receiver received that message is correct or not, right? So that's why I am adding some redundant bit. So, n is equal to k, my data bits plus r, r means redundant bit, right? So, total n bits block are there in my code word. So, n bits, n bits, n bits, likewise, 2 rest to n code words are there and each of n bits. So, in data word, simply I am sending my data, I am dividing my data in k bits and I am sending, but in code word, along with data, I am adding one redundant bit also, not one, but number of uh, redundant bits I am adding and then sending. So every time data word and code word both are there in combination of 2 rest to something right. It should be in 2 rest. Why? Because every time we are dealing with binary concepts. So that's why we are assuming only 2 rest to combination. Next thing 2 rest to n minus 2 rest to k code words that are not used. Why? Because 2 rest to n means what? Whatever redundant bit I am adding, that data words. Plus, minus 2 rest to k means what? Whatever data words I am having, right? So, that redundant bits, whatever I am adding, that is not useful. Now, next I want to discuss with you is error detection. First technique of our error correction and detection. Error detection inside this error detection. Hemming distance. First technique. So, very well-known technique of uh, error detection and mostly this will use everywhere, right? So, Hamming distance between this is 0, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 1. So, this 0, 0, 0 is sender side data and 0, 1, 1 is receiver side data. Now, if I want to calculate Hamming distance between sender and receiver data, simply I have to apply XOR operation, right? 0, 0, 0, XOR, 0, 1, 1. So, what I am getting over here, 1, 1. Means 2 ones I am getting as a result, right? So, Hamming distance is equal to 2. Means number of ones I am getting, that is Hamming distance. So, what is Hamming distance exactly? For error correction, we are using, for error detection, we are using this, right? So, this is center bit, this is receiver bit. So, clearly we can observe that 1, 1. 2 ones are extra one or it's error bit, right? So, that's why our Hamming distance is 2. Let's say I'll take some other example. This is my sender side data. This is receiver side data. Simply if I'll apply XOR operation on that, then I'll get 3. Means having 3 ones. So having distance is 3 in this example, right? Again, I'll take some other example for why we are using this Hemming distance simply to detect the error. That error is there or not in my whatever receiver is received for that we are using this Hamming distance. Right now I am not worried about correction part. Simply I am detecting the error. Right. So find the Hamming distance of the coding 
scheme, right? Whatever is given, D is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is sender side data. This is receiver side data. Whatever receiver is received, right? So simply, if I apply XOR operation, what I am getting? Three ones, right? So hemming distance is three. D min, D min is equal to three. Now, minimum hemming distance. Let's say I am sender is sending three code words at a time, and receiver is receiving three code words. Now, for first code word, uh, distance is two. For second code word, distance is 3. For third code word, distance is 4. So at that time, I have to consider minimum distance. Means D main is equal to 2 in my first code word, right? So that's why I have to consider minimum distance every time. Whenever 2, 3 code words I am sending. And accordingly, I have to resend it or I have to assume or forward it, right? I discussed over here, no? forward error correction accordingly i have to assume it or i have to retransmit my data bit now hemming distance hemming distance used for error detection hemming codes used for error correction i'll discuss hemming uh, codes in next lecture now in computer networks terms if i want to represent this hemming distance then how can i represent d min is equal to 0 0 0 d is equal to 0 0 sender whatever sender send and 0 1 1 whatever receiver is receiving and minimum distance is 2 now if i want to represent this in terms of coding scheme or in terms of our networking terms right so coding scheme if i want to represent then c is equal to n n and k what is this n? n stands for number of code words. So, 1, 2, 3. 3 code words are there in my uh, data, right? So, c is equal to 3 and number of data words is 2. 1 and 2, right? 2 data words I am using with d min is equal to 2. So, in exam, many times they will give you code like this also. Means in this terms also d min is equal to something something and you have to calculate the uh, error correction or error detection hemming distance everything so hemming distance is equal to number of bits affected by the error now if i want to check that how many bits let's say my d uh, d min is 5 then how many bits i can correct in my data so for that two equation are there for error correction and error detection for both equation are there let's say if i want to i my d min is x y z right d min is given then s plus one bits up to s plus one bits i can correct i can detect the error and if d min is given then 2t plus one bits i can correct the error i know it's a bit tricky i'll explain with example if my d min is 4 in this example, d min is 2. Let's say in some example, d min means minimum hemming distance is 4. So, if I apply this detection formula, then detection in detection, if I'll take a s is equal to 3. So, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, simply using hemming distance, I can uh, th up to 3 bit, I can detect the error. I'm not concerned about correcting the error, but up to 3 bit, I can detect the error, right? So, S is equal to 3 if I'll take here, then S, uh, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, D min is equal to 4 is given. So, simply, uh, you have to put 1 by 1 values or you have to apply trial and error method whenever a uh, hemming distance is given. Now, next, correction. If I want to correct the bits in my code word, then... In my example, if d min is 4, then if I'll take t is equal to 1, so 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2 plus 1, so 3, right? So, this may be less than or equal to, but it should not be greater than, right? So, up to 3 bits, I can correct the error when hemming distance is 4. So, these two are useful formula in competitive exams many times they'll ask how up to how many bits i can correct the error up to how many bits i can detect the error so you have to remember this whenever hemming distance is given up to s plus one you can 
detect the error and up to 2t plus 1 you can correct the error right i hope uh, error correct error detection part is clear from my side but i don't know about you so i hope you are getting this error correction and detection basic terminology as well as aiming distance error detection method thank you